EdTech to level up tech usage across the school for teachers and learners. Hi, I'm Karen Wallstra, and I'm going to be giving ideas about how to use Purple Mesh across your school. Think about a traditional IT room where children are all on computers, the whole class that is. Now, if they have lucky, once a week, they have a lesson for an hour, a whole class session. Now let's rethink this whole class learning idea. Move from a whole class learning to small groups, or what about individualized learning, or collaborative learning, or social interactive learning, all on the computers. Yes, let's level up and change from whole class to various different strategies. Empower yourself as the teacher. Look at the purple mesh dashboard at the top and click on teachers. There are a range of different resources here for you, curriculums, professional development, and even information for your parents. We are going to explore professional development. If you go in and click on the teacher training platform, you will see that there are a range of different courses that you could do. Think about how you can upskill yourself in these different professional development courses all about Purple Mesh. As the admin, you can actually see which courses your teachers have done, the scores that they've achieved, and who has been doing them. So level up and get your teachers participating in the professional development. And did you know that they say it's endorsed? So get your points for doing these courses. What about how we use devices when we're using technology? What about a trolley of devices for small groups? This trolley could move from class to class, linking to the different timetables. What about very small groups for collaborative learning? Or what about larger trolleys for whole class or particular room that could be booked when it suits you? Think about how you could use your devices differently at school. What about exploring your pedagogy that you're using and the technology? There are amazing tools and resources that you could be using on this platform. Let's explore these tools. What about building maths knowledge? There are a range of different tools to count, to graph, to calculate, to question, to investigate, and so much more. What about to race? It's a great social interactive learning space where you can set tasks for your children to actually be playing games and learning their operations at the same time, playing against each other, racing along in different scenarios. Or what about getting your students to investigate and create different databases and to share these with other students in their classes, so working individually and collaboratively? Or what about exploring a spreadsheet and using to calculate and beginning to show them the different features that we see inside of spreadsheets. Think about other tools that they might be using. You could use them as a whole class and set everybody the same task to do. Look at multiplication, where children can be playing the games and learning their multiplication tables, checking as they go along. Great individual task. What about a small group who needs to practice a particular type of multiplication table? What about getting your students to design incredible graphs, a range of different ones, block, pie or line graphs? This is a great individual tool that your whole class could be doing if you're teaching them about graphs. What about languages? There are language tools that you can use inside Purple Mesh as well. A favorite one of mine is to create where children can combine words and pictures and sounds and animations and create really engaging stories. What about to publish and to publish plus? There are a range of different activities inside of this platform. Think of any publishing document that you need. You'll find them in here that your children can work with. Getting your children to work individually or collaboratively on activities is really important. So level up and think about how you would use these tools. Saving you time with auto marking is really important. 
to quiz is a great tool where you can find pre-made ones that have been made by the Too Simple team or that you can create your own. The text toolkit is just the same, a range of different tools where you can create language quizzes for your students. A great one that I really love are the closed tools where children can be filling in the missing word, reading and checking the, the language or filling in punctuation marks. Getting children to ask questions in Two Question using a branching database with words and pictures and sounds working collaboratively or on their own. They could be asking how and why and what and where as they create these databases. So think about how you could be getting your children to think and ask questions. What about exposing them to the fourth IR tools? To animate is a really incredible little tool which allows children to create animations. These animations can be downloaded as GIFs. You can share these GIFs then with parents or with children. Another great tool is to DIY 3D. What the children do here is they actually build a game. They can design the background, the walls, the floor, and even the characters. They can add sounds and codes within that. Think about how you can get the children to be really designing games. So not just playing them, but actually designing them. What a great skill to be exposing our children to. To design and make is a really great one. Where the learners can see their designs in 2D and in 3D and can even print their templates and fold them up as paper ones. But what you could also do is you could download the SDL files and get them to be printed on a 3D printer. What if the printer lived on the roving trolley that you could do it inside of your class? To paint a picture has a range of different resources within there to make different types of art. Get your children to explore these. Both the art teacher and perhaps other subjects could use this platform. Busy Beats is a tool which creates digital music. Really exciting for children, getting them to create and learn and record their own music. Now don't forget the coding. There's a whole section on coding. To Code is a really wonderful tool with three levels of progression. And within that space, there are a range of different activities. Each little activity, the learners learn new tools, are able to debug, and also get a chance to be creative within that space. They see the design and they do the code. A really great tool to teach children block coding. To Go is a tool which teaches directionality, following instructions, and solving problems within the basis of where coding starts. Wanting your children to create flowcharts for maths, for coding, or a range of other things, hop into two chart. And if you really want to explore another text code, go and look at two logo. Two logo is great in terms of teaching them about coding, but also really useful for some of the math skills that you want children to acquire. So explore the coding tools, not just from a coding point of view, but other subjects as well. We're wanting to build confidence in our students with social interaction and relationships where they feel positive. So thinking about how they trust their peers and their teachers, thinking about how their friendship groups can actually grow and feeling proud in the work that they are sharing. So if you think about Purple Mesh, you could be creating display boards where children can go and share their work. This can be shared with their parents or just within your class. They can go in and look at the activities, or if it's something to play, like a game, they could go and play the game that the children have created. A really great resource to use within your school. You can be building perseverance and confidence with instant feedback. The instant feedback could be with one of the auto-marking quizzes where they get an immediate response of how they have done. These could be language or mathematical type activities. They could see the tick and know the answer is right or get an acknowledgement at the end to say, yes, it's all done, well done. So think about how you can be using the tools to really build confidence and getting the children to be feeling self-fulfilled. 
The personalized rewards is one way of doing this. You can set these rewards for your students every time you mark an activity. These animations are really great and the children feel wonderful. Every child can get their own. So creating personalized rewards is another way of building confidence in your learners. Think about how you've got your learners to feel successful. Their intellectual success, where their learning and understanding and challenging has improved. Or their material success, where they're creating things and they're feeling really confident in what they have done. Or their emotional success, with their relationships and their positive self-esteem being built. So think about how these tools could really assist you with that in the classroom. Every single tool allows for originality and creativity. So really level up across the school. You can be inspiring curiosity, making them children to be actively involved with their interactions and engagements. They can be excited for what they are doing as they explore and they learn, and that they're being willing to really engage as they are enthusiastic as they participate in school activities. So think about how these direct interactions with learners can really benefit them. You can give them feedback as text or voice. The children can do the same to you. And so they don't even have to type if they're not sure, but they could give you a voice message and you could do the same. Building self-confidence within your children by the feedback that you're giving. So increase their engagement by building perseverance, getting them to get new skills as they move along. Their creativity will increase and so their self-esteem self will really grow. So think about how you can do that with the tools like these, whether it's small group learning, individualized learning, collaborative learning, or social interactive learning. Level up on all these different levels and use the tools to suit your children. Get your children to really interact, building pride and ownership in what they are doing, upskilling themselves, in all that they've done and empowering your learners to be the best that they can be. So level up across your school in every lesson. Thanks everyone. Have a wonderful day.